Okay guys, I just wanted to give you a little update on this um, LED driver or um, servo reversing circuit or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically all it is is the guts from inside of a servo. Originally I, I was using this little guy which is out of a 9 gram servo. Okay, It worked, um, even though I will say that the, I, I had these two lights flashing, but um, this got really hot. So... I mean, plus, I think these are 12 volt bulbs too. They're for CB radios. I, was, I got a bunch of them laying around. You know, I got a crap ton. But, um, yeah. Plus, I didn't have no resistor on the bulb on the LEDs either. So that was probably killing it too. But I gutted out this uh, Hobby King, this $2.50 Hobby King um, standard servo got the board out of it right here now this board um, is it's actually a really good electronics for 250 I mean look at that potentiometer I mean that's a really nice potentiometer I mean here's the motor that was on it it's actually soldered to the board which actually makes for a good uh, stress relief for the wires to run them through the hole first and then in and then solder on the back side but um, yeah these two things here were part of a flashlight they would go together for two different people they're both five volts so I'm using them but um, just to show you how it works you know when you you can have this set up on a Y with your uh, your steering uh, your steering servo or you can have it set up for brakes or however um, but turn one way one light comes on, turn the other way, the other light comes on. How I'm achieving this is LED bulbs. Here, let me put this on oscillate so it just goes back and forth. And I'll actually hook up a servo so you can actually see the movement that's on here to go with the light. It almost would seem that the Hobby King board is faster than this JR Racing Z250 servo. Um, but then you go to neutral, no lights off. Um, you can adjust it to where it's only giving, you know, positive, positive, negative, negative voltage by just cranking your potentiometer. Then it won't work going the other direction. See? But. What you can also do is get rid of this pot completely so you don't actually have to worry about um, you don't actually have to worry about getting it center because that is kind of the sucky part which uh, I got to repair for that all you do is replace the potentiometer with two 2.2k ohm uh, resistors shaped in a Y or like a McDonald's sign you know one goes on, there's three wires, you have one on one pin, one on the other pin, and then you have the other, the two ends of those tied together into the center pin. Simple. Um, here's a little schematic. And how I'm actually achieving the lights switching from one to the other is because when you turn your, your, uh, your servo changes its direction, this motor changes its direction, which it needs to have current reversed to it. So the current is reversing on this board. And what I do is I have this one hooked up positive to positive, negative to negative. And this one is hooked up positive to negative, negative to positive. So when it switches, the other one will light up back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now you can play with, play around with different resistors to get, you know, you can have it to where this is set up to run headlights and then um, you'd have it turned down to where once you backed off and gave your full reverse your brake lights would come on. You could set that up to do that as well. Um, I mean the kind of the sky's the limit with this thing. I mean I haven't been using it but it's not even getting hot. Right now I'm running it off of a 5 volt BEC 
to a 1300 milliamp hour 2S that used to be a 3S, but a cell died, so I got it made it a 2S. Um, here's a little kind of a drawing of the schematic, just so you guys can see. You got your, there's your uh, servo board. You, your wires going to your receiver, your potentiometer. This is where you would hook up the two, the two 2.2k ohm resistors. One would hook to this post, one would hook to this post, and then the two opposite ends would twist together and then hook to the center post. Um, this is your p negative and positive pads from your servo motor that was on the board that you removed, and which the smaller ones actually have wires. But and then the lights. These are representing LEDs. If you notice, it's positive, negative, negative, positive. And this is all positive pull. This is all negative pull. And they're just reversed. I actually had that circuit going on here where I had these. These are all, each one is different. So I had it switching back and forth. But these are not the correct bulbs. And I was actually running this whole thing with the, uh, wherever the other one went to. A little small one that I had made but I mean I'm sure this could be exploited even more you know it's just people smarter than me needs to exploit it a little farther but there you go I mean this thing doesn't even get warm I mean it takes it like a champ you know and I was thinking too, just in case so it doesn't fry out anything, I was going to put in a, you know, you could put in a, I don't know if it may fry something or not, if like if it was a short or something, I didn't want it to back back and destroy my BEC, so I might put a fuse link between the BEC and that, I don't know, just as a safety precaution, but it seems to work fine, and then these things are actually pretty cool, I was thinking, hell, I could put these directly underneath the wing pointing back into the into the fuselage on something I don't know I mean they're running off of 5 volts they're running off of BDC right now I mean they're running off of a servo board they already have their resistors built into them so four LEDs on each well till next time